universal. It's something I was born to do, something I can do, and I can transition to either way. As long as I manage the distance and use my attributes, being fast, being versatile, being diverse with my striking. Been fighting for WBA, WBC, 12 round world title fights. I have a big advantage over somebody who has zero boxing fights. The fans are going to actually see what I've been putting in every day for the past seven years. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Ryan Ford is set. Fight fans, let's bring our last two fighters to the unified ring for our main event. Walking first from the blue corner, Curtis Millender. Here we go. Main event of the evening. Curtis Melinder coming out all the way from San Bernardino, California. Made a little bit of an impact here recently in the unified cage, taking home the unified championship. Decided to try his hand at the unified boxing promotion here. I don't know if that's a good idea against a hometown hero like Ryan Ford, but definitely no slouch Curtis Melinder. Peak physical aptitude. Phenomenal display in his sh first showing and you know very interested to see how he's gonna he's gonna do here You know he has some boxing experience two wins zero losses two KOs, but some of the guys he's fought, you know not really ranked up uh, But nonetheless experience And it's a tall order fighting Ryan Ford in his hometown right ryan's been putting in a lot of time over the years in boxing he's finally going to get to showcase that right he's done mma here quite often hasn't fought in edmonton in bo in the boxing ring for quite a while now and it it's going to be a tough night for curtis melander you know uh, yesterday at the weigh-ins a little bit of animosity uh, curtis uh, melander with a little bit of showboating ryan ford did not like that a little bit of a shove Pushed him off stage. Didn't seem to phase Melinder though. Kind of smiled, came back, put the flex on. I'm here to put in work. You guys blew me down. I mean business. I ain't no joke. And uh, you know, you got to take him seriously, nonetheless, right? And sometimes you got to draw that line in the sand and kind of throw respect and sportsmanship out the window until after the fight and let him know that you're here and then I'm not playing around. Yeah, Edmonton fans are just hard pressed for that. Hard feelings when it comes to stuff like that. Especially so. with Ryan Ford involved, right? Yeah, definitely a lot of, you know, you, when they announce his name, there's gonna be a, a big crew here, but you know, here we're dealing with Curtis Melinder. Um, like I said, two wins, zero losses. MMA record, he's got 20 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. This taking place as a light heavyweight bout. You know, boxing categories are a little bit different than MMA, so he's at 178 pounds. Again, in the light heavyweight division. The and main event of the evening. And I don't know if you caught that. Mel Melinder's corner slapping him in the face before sending him in the ring there. Getting him fired up. Getting him ready to face Ryan, the real deal forward. All right, let's pass this up to Don Andrews. Bring out Ryan Ford. Tail of the tape here. Ryan Ford, Curtis Melinder. Ryan Ford weighing at 178.8 pounds. Curtis Blinder weighing at 179 pounds even. This is in the unified boxing light heavyweight division. Live and exclusive on UFC Fight Pass here at the River Creek Resort and Casino in Enoch, Alberta. As Ryan Ford enters into the ring. I'm trying to let his presence be known in here that this is my hometown, this is my ring, and you're not gonna come in here and bully me at all. Choke fans, Unified Boxing is proud to bring you our featured bout of the evening. Our main event scheduled eight three-minute rounds in our super middleweight division brought to you by our presenting sponsor, Perfect Sports. Our three judges for our main event tonight, Chris Souster, David Bilicirkowick, and Andy Social. Now, live and exclusively on UFC Fight Pass from the sold out River Cree Resort and Casino, this is the moment we've waited all night for. Our three judges are ready. I know these two fighters are ready. Alberta boxing fans, are you ready? Then let's get this main event started. 
Introducing first to my left, the man fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the silver trunks with black lettering, his official weight, 179 pounds even. His record, two wins, no losses, both of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of the Den Training Center in San Bernardino, California, please welcome Curtis, Curtis Millender. His opponent across the ring, this man fighting out of the red corner, wearing the all black trunks with white trim, his official weight, 178.9 pounds. His record, 17 wins, eight losses, 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Wolf House Boxing here in Edmonton, Alberta, make some noise for Ryan, the real deal, Ford. Your referee in charge of our main event is Joel Scobie. Okay, Ryan, your trunks are good here. Curtis, we talked in the back. Your trunks are a little bit high, so it's gonna be right here. Okay, man, I gave you instructions in the dressing room. I remind you to listen and follow my commands. Touch gloves now, come out of the bell. There's no love in this ring tonight. Ryan, the real deal Ford versus Curtis. Courteous Curtis Melinder for eight three-minute rounds of boxing unify boxing promotions. Well, he can't be too courteous tonight because Ryan Ford's going to make short work of that. And Ryan Ford has a great high guard. You know, he keeps his hands up, and that allows him to, to catch punches and also walk you down and get close to you whenever he wants. Yeah, Melinda trying to find a hole in Ryan Ford's guard as they clinch up here. And Melinda's got some size, he's got some reach. Melinda working behind that jab. And he's, he's holding that, that lead hand out, almost like a stiff arm there. Hard shots by Melinda. Yeah, Ryan Ford's got seven years of boxing there after he, he kind of left MMA for a bit and then, but he's, uh, he's taken on Olympic gold medalist. Claimed the UBO light heavyweight title. Went 14 and 0, and then he took a step up in competition. Went back to MMA, and now here he is, put him back on for his city. And it's great to see him, you know, being able to showcase all that hard work and all the boxing skill that he's been working on over the years in his hometown. Melinda well, doing a really good job at keeping Ford on the outside. You can tell Ford's a little bit of a powder keg here, just waiting to explode. And he, he's got some good power. He's got great overhands, great hooks, great uppercuts, you know. And he's even got some slickness in him that he'll pull out once in a while on defense when he has to. Yeah, I think the key here, Melinda's got to, again, those stiffer shots, keep him in, control the, the center of the ring as Ryan Ford presses forward here on a pose. And can you keep Ford away from you the whole fight, right? That'll be the question. Can he keep that up? Can he keep his range? And Ryan Ford coming forward with that double jab, which is great because then it backs Melinda up. You know, it makes him defend that jab, and then he can start landing those right hands after that. Yeah, both fighters look... Melinda looks really comfortable. Ford a little bit more more on guard and he might just be being you know a little patient here seeing what he sees downloading some information and then maybe he'll go to work here you can see both fighters are kind of completely different styles Ryan likes to use that high guard and Melinda is a little looser of the guard right hands just a bit low right and he's able to do that because he has the reach he has the height advantage Yeah, just the size difference. It's like, again, it's so hard to tell this guy's weight in the same weight. I know, and it's like who had the harder weight cut, you know? Ooh, wow, left hook there by Ford. That was a good leap in left hook. And 
you can see that uh, Curtis Millender doing a good job with that lead hand, keeping Ryan's guard busy, keeping his hands up, and, and really trying to keep that control. And you don't always have to hit a guy with your jab. You can use it as a touch, as a range finder. You know, really bother him to make your opponent, you know, get behind that first. He's got to get around that jab first before he can get to you. You know, yeah, great tactics for the first round. You know, feel it out a little bit. Get the range. Right, let's, let's see what's going on here. Like, yeah, we were angry at each other, <laughs> trying to figure out each other's style, but you still got to see if this guy is a threat to you or not, right? So it's going to take a round or two of feel out for this to kind of work through. And said so we got eight rounds. Eight three-minute rounds in this. Yeah, we got some time to work. Both fighters can be patient, right? You don't need to completely blow your load in round one here. That's the great thing about boxing. Like you got time to kind of work a game plan. And 100%. And, and Ford doesn't even look sweaty at this point yet. And you see Melander putting that hand out like a, like a post, right? And depending on the referee, some referees don't allow you to, to have that stiff arm out there, right? You have to move it a little bit. Great overhand right by Ford. And he backed Melander up against the ropes. He's swinging hard with those overhands, but he landed one there on Melinder. And this is exactly what he has to do when he has, to, when he has him against the ropes. He's got to let his hands go. Say, Melinder wants to stay on top of this fight. He's got to maintain that that reach advantage. He's got to sting a little bit more with that jab. Yep. Keep Ford outside because Ford is just going to keep pressing forward, and he's dangerous on the inside. And, and Ford's strengths are, are walking you down, making you fight chest to chest. Because again, he has that great guard where he's just going to catch the punches on his guard, and then he's going to look to catch and shoot after you throw your combos. Curtis with some nice pressure there, doing a little bit of dirty boxing, getting inside, pushing him off with his shoulder, kind of messing him up a little bit. Great left hook there by Ryan Ford. Some tip for tat here as the fighters exchange against the ropes. That overhand right by Ford is starting to find its way there. Yeah, you see, he's just throwing the little feeler. You see how it's landed, then diving back down. Melner with a little bit of uh, that shoulder roll counter punching there. And then we, we see a tie up here. I like that, a little, little bit of dirty boxing. The ref letting them get their hands free instead of just breaking it up right away. Yeah, he's definitely letting these clinches go a little bit longer. And you can see Ford is just biding his time, right? Looking for the right moment to explode and let those hooks and overhands go. Yeah, true veteran, you know, he's walking it down. He's waiting for Melinder to, to mess up here, but Melinder's doing an excellent job. He really is, he, he's keeping his range quite nicely, right? Hitting a little bit, moving back, moving away. But I tell you, when a guy uses the high guard like that, it, it's tiring, beating on his hands, right? Not all those punches are landing. And that might be one of the strategies of Ryan Ford, you know, maybe get him, get Melinda to punch himself out a little bit. There, a little, little tap shot there by Ford. Ten second clapper going. Well, let's see who can finish out the show here and, and really win this round. Great round. Both guys came to fight. Right, we got a completely different game plan out of both fighters and both teams. As round two ends. Now, if you're Ford, do you, do you, do you want to see him press the action a little bit more? Or do, you, or do you like the patience for the later rounds? I like what he's doing right now. I like that he's kind of just, he's, he's got his game plan. I think he's still trying to figure out Melender. Melender's peppering away. And as we look at the replay here, he's winning on these explosions here. But he's not wasting any energy. He's like, he's got his hands up. And when he sees his opening, even on some of those overhands, he's throwing a little tether up there, seen it? Look at those little pitter-patter. Yep. Let's throw a little hook to the body. Okay, he's reacting a little bit. Let's pop it up tall. And so he's really picking and choosing his shots and conserving his energy. So I like what he's doing. I think Melander needs to do a little bit more to keep him off because I think he's just going to slowly wear him down to the point where that tide's going to turn, right? Yeah. Where he, where he can't, Mer Melander can't move his feet as much, you know. 
And I'd like to see Ford get this fight to the inside and, you know, take it to him when, where, he, where he's stronger here. Linder with some nice angle movement there, pivoting and still able to maintain control the center of the ring. And, and Ford getting that overhand, coming right over the top of the, uh, the taller opponent. And when a guy holds his lead hand low where he's trying to do like the Floyd Mayweather shoulder roll, that overhand right is a great option to come over the top of it. Look at that, again with the shoulder push. He's commanding that control as he charges forward. And, <laughs> and then he fakes him out here and he changes the angle and he's throwing punches. A nice little exchange there by Melinder. Both fighters are throwing, finding the shots. Melinda with the fancy footwork there, hey, getting that outside step and, and really making Ford turn him. Well, he really threw him for a curveball there as he went for that shoulder shove again and just stepped to the side and landed the punch and Ford kind of stumbled over. In the clinch here is where I'd like to see Ryan Ford really bully him and, and dominate while he has him close. Right, and make it count here. Yeah, fish for those body hooks while you're in there. Easier said than done, though, because Melinda has his own agenda, right? <laughs> he doesn't want to just let him do that. Yeah, it's not just going to let him walk in. No, here not at all. Yeah. Melinder's surprising me with his slickness here. It's, it's <laughs> having a little bit of that Canelo defense where he's using that shoulder roll to pivot out. It's fun watching him move because he's making a hard target for Ford, and he's also frustrating him a little bit. And the question is, can Melinda, can he keep up this pace the whole fight? Look, yeah, right, we're only in round three here. We got a lot of fight to go. And we got a little bit of the blood coming from the nose of Curtis Melinda. Like he's definitely eating some shots here, but he's he, he looks great with, with his defense though. He's making Ford miss a lot more than than what he's landing. You know, point in case that overhand right here, shoulder comes up, glances over the top in the back of his head. Yeah, and this is where Ford needs to work misses. right here. Well, Curtis is, is fading out a little bit in the round. A switch footwork there. And, and who do you right think this, this pace benefits right now, Ryan? I think this is working out for Melinda. Both fighters, it's exhausting on both sides, right? Like Ford's continuously trying to find an opening and press forward. And Melinda has to keep pivoting out and and work around it. So, you know, this is equally exhausting for both guys. Melinder's still throwing punches. He's still landing punches. And that, that overhand is such a dangerous punch. And Melinder's really gonna have to watch out for that one. But you see what he did there. He stepped in as soon as the punch got thrown, and then he stepped back out. Stepped in, smothered the overhand, stepped back out to the outside. Yeah, he's, he's doing a good job of keeping his reign in and not letting uh, Ford smother him. Ford definitely has his work cut out if he needs, he needs to definitely change the pace up here. He's, the lender's not letting up. Uh, definitely doing a, a, a really good job at, at cutting those angles, circling out, confusing him. Yeah, let's, let's check out some replays here. There we go. And we got Ford bobbing and weaving underneath yeah. the punches and good Melander is just trying to find him. And there's those shoulder roll counters right there, but Ford's still finding that overhand over the top. Like more of a glancing blow, but it still touched him. Yeah, it's hard to tell where the punches are landing because he's changing the angles. The blender's changing the angles so much, but Ford's definitely landing those shots. He's doing some damage. It's just he's having a hard time fighting because Melinder's cutting, cutting around a lot. Now, if you're Melinder's corner and team, do you, you get him to switch up anything right now or you just keep doing the same thing? Huh, I think I think the angles are doing great. I'd like to see staying on the outside a little bit more and like doing like this, you know, landing those crisp shots, like from the outside. I mean, Ford Be long, right? Like you're taking away all Ford's weapons if you can stay long. Yeah, and, and it makes it a really challenging fight. I mean, he's stepping up the challenge here when he's getting on the inside, rolling, change of the angles. He's making the fight more entertaining. He's a lot active, but he's also putting himself in danger of getting those hooks that Ryan Ford was throwing, those overhands, right? Coming right at him from all angles as well. And, and all it takes is one of those overhands to catch you on, you know, on the side of the head, on top of the, by the ear, and your equilibrium is gone and your legs are shot. Oh, we saw that earlier on in the earlier fights here, but definitely with, yeah, Ryan Ford with that powerhouse, you know, and Curtis Melinder here doing a great job keeping him on the outside. 
Yeah, I definitely maintain, try to keep him out and keep this up here, but he loves just playing with him. He's, he's wrapping him up. He's, he's really frustrating forward, which might also be part of his game plan, right? Yeah. Let's try to, this guy has a lot of experience. Let's try to mess him up, get him off his game. And Kurt is showing a decent shoulder roll on the inside with the, the smaller, shorter, stockier fighter. And when you can fight a little bit on the inside and the outside, right, it really makes it challenging for your opponent. Millinder kind of throwing these little slaps to the side of Ford's head there. Yeah, I'd like to see some, some harder punches, but, you know, again, dude, cut the angle, There's that little over. step around, but Ford was ready for that one yeah. and found it, his punches there. Millinder doing a little bit of shifting on the way back, you know, going from that southpaw to orthodox stance. Yeah, Melinder posting up there, like, sticking his arm out, maintaining that reach, setting up. And as soon as he paused that jab out there, oh, hey, that's that's already placed. Here comes the right, right, boom. And Ford showing his slickness here with his head movement. You know, he's starting to get his rhythm a little bit, you know, starting to get a bit of momentum. Yeah, the, co the corner of Ford there, exactly what we're talking about here, calling for that violence. You need that. You know, get in there. Get in that pocket. Do what you do good. But like I said, I think Melinder's plan here is working. He's, he's really frustrating Ford. His movement is, is kind of causing him to go from all different angles. And Ford has to, one step behind, has to keep playing keep up. Yeah, Melinder is doing a good job at not making it easy. And both guys just kind of choosing to take a little break on the inside there. Big smiles. He's playing a nice, solid right hook landed by Melinder. Right around that guard of Ford's. It's a clapper sound at the end of the round. That was a solid round. Smiles by Melinda and Ford. Says, I got you. He's like, I don't think so. This is a great matchup. Very entertaining stylistically. Like, just, just great for both fighters, right? Now, if you're Ryan Ford's corner, what, what's, the, what's the game plan coming out here in, in round five? Exactly. So he's got to get aggressive, right? He's, he's going to eventually lose this fight uh, just based off of Like, Flinder's not landing these devastating punches, but he's still landing more punches. And he's cut the angles, he's controlling the zone. Even the point, he's like allowing, Ford is allowing Leonard to rest the, the, his glove on his head and just keep that space, right? Like, get out of there. You got to break that gap, get in there, right? Are you on the same page with that? Or? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for Ford to really turn it on in these, these last couple rounds here. And just because he has no choice, dude. He, he's got to call it some action. He, he, he's got to create something to happen. And just give him some chances at bad here. He, he's always dangerous. He always has good power, good aggression. He's got to turn back into that aggressive fighter we all know and love, right? Round oh, number four, I believe. We are on five, five. round number five. Yeah, That's it's going by in a flash. Round number five. Very unified boxing promotions at the River Cree Resort and Casino, Enoch, Alberta. Ford's finding that left hook now, catching uh, Millinder moving back on that back foot and a little bit off balance. There we go here. Now he's starting to let his hands go with those big wide hooks. That's what the weatherman called for. That's what's up in the forecast. That's what we want to see. Like, you need to start these mind games. Melinda's paying Ford. Ford needs to answer back with that, right? You want to play some shuffle and pivot? Like, I'm doing that with the head movement. Try to hit my head, right? And then I'm going to make you miss now and come back at you hard. He hit his corner, said, bite down. Find those body shots. And Ford having some fun in here, and you like to see it where his personality is really coming out. And this is where he's got to take advantage. He's got to let his hands go, find a way to get his hands free when Millinder wants to clinch up and let the referee come in, right? Get that guard too, like I said, he's, Melinder's just bouncing off his gloves. Yeah, nothing really is landing cleanly, but you're still gonna feel that sometimes through the gloves, right? But again, are, is the, are the judges going to score those points right or not? Yeah, they, are they scoring clean contact? Are they scoring the dirty boxing? Like, are they scoring control? There's, there's a bunch of variables to add to that, which is all part of the sweet science of boxing, which is, makes this, this fight in specifically like so much fun to watch right now. I want to see Ford put together a couple combinations, though. 
you know, two or three punches at a time. <laughs> finds a hold up, over on right, it springs right on Melinda. As Melinda pedals away, gains control back at the center of the ring. And Melinda doing a good job of clinching up. You know, he, he didn't like that position. Needed to take a break. And sometimes you just you punch him up, make the ref come in, like I said before. He's throwing his weight around. Like, I don't know if you caught that. If he's just really using that shoulder shove to dominate and push Ryan Ford out of the way to get control back of the ring or get off the ropes. And that's allowing him to get his range back, get his yeah. distance back. See, even here, right? Clinch up. Let's walk yep. him back. Here we go. Now you're on the push up, right? Ryan's got to make it a little ugly here, a little, a little messy and just throw your hands. And that's got to be frustrating for Ford, too. He's clinched up, he's pushing you back. And, and you can see he's always capable of, of doing exactly that and exploding forward at any time. Hard right shot at the end of the round there to close out round number five. In this fight, we got, we're seeing a little bit of everything. We got the outside, we got the inside fighting, we got some good counter punching. Ryan got that the great high guard, and Millinder doing a good job, surprisingly, with that shoulder roll. And looking really comfortable on the inside, and like you said, Ryan, showing that, hey, I'm the bigger guy here. The dominant, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna push you back, I'm gonna get my distance back, and you're not gonna push me around. Yeah. It's hard when you have, like, you may weigh the same weight, but even, like, the leverage when you're that tall, you just need to lean lean into the guy, and he's gonna go backwards, right? So, and that's gonna be extremely frustrating for Ford. And right after that, let's pivot, push him off and pivot out, and now he has to walk back to you. So, not only you're dealing with this guy leaning on your back pedaling, now you gotta chase him around the ring, but Ford came alive a little bit there. And, and right away, both guys meeting in the middle, getting to that close range fighting. Now we're back to, a, you know, more of a pro boxing range. Yeah, these rounds are super hard to score, but they're kind of teeing off one for one here. And Ford looking to walk him down and, and get him stuck against the ropes. Both fighters look like they got lots of energy left. And we got some showmanship here in the middle of the ring. Ryan Ford putting his hands down, saying, stop running, stop moving, fight me in the middle of the fight. In the ring, I mean. But Curtis Melinder, why? Why don't you come get me? Right? Like, let's keep playing this game. It's work. I'm having fun. Yeah, if you're Melinder's team in corner, you don't want him falling for that and, and get into a firefight and get into that mono e mono head-to-head -head stuff. Because what he's doing is, is working so far. No need to change it. Again, with the bullying. You see that? Pushing yep. him into the corner, right? Right. And even though that, that left hook didn't land, he kind of used it to turn out. And Ford is relentless, though. He, he does not know how to back up, right? It is not in his, his repertoire. Werner's picked up on that overhand. He sees it coming out. It has that, that roll time perfectly as well now. It's going to get harder and harder for Ryan to land that money shot. It's going to come up with a better strategy here. And Ford's got to let the hands loose while he, while he has them in close. Oh, and that overhand is near missing over and over. And Melander kind of complaining to the ref that that might have been a backhand. And then Ford, Ford is like, I'm coming in. I don't care. It's the ref's job to, to stop me, right? Protect yourself at all times. And, and Ford's got to let him loose here, right? He, he's got to make... Melander counter and to see how good his, his inside game is. Oh, there was a left hook that got through by Ford. I was going to say, Ford's doing a good job at getting on the inside, but he's almost smothering himself, and he should still maintain that little bit of distance so he can land those power hooks. Great exchange by both fighters. Blender swinging wildly and lands some crisp shots. Ford answering back. It's Melinda again using his weight to push him in. Right, Melinda's trying to take a break here. He, I don't know what he's saying, but he's trying to talk to the ref here. Both fighters just taking a break here, and the, and the ref's just kind of letting him be. I don't know why he's letting that clinch go yeah, so Yeah, that long. was just a bit long there. 
great round, both fighters. Uh, let's take a look at this back fist here. It's kind of right here, he gets kind of spun around. Oh, and we kind of missed that overhand yeah. and then just kind of tapped him, right? Yeah. And it might have been a little bit of the back fist, a little bit of the, you know, the knuckles. It was hard to tell. Again, uh, just more bullying. And it's, it's, it's really, you could tell, even just based off that last exchange he did, uh, even after the, the little back, back fist fiasco there, Ford jumps right back in. I'm like, you know, Blender's starting to chirp him. He's getting inside his head. Um, he's throwing his weight around, just little tactics. Blender's implementing an excellent fight plan right now. This is dirty boxing at, at its finest. Yeah, he's surprising me with um, his boxing ability, especially using that shoulder roll too. And he's using a great tactic too, like when he's stuck on the rope, instead of just trying to move away and continue to move, he's stepping in with that shoulder roll and smothering towards punches. But I think Ford turned it up a little bit in that in that last round, though. And he comes out swinging <laughs> right away. He is not having it. I think we're going to see an aggressive Ford to finish off the last couple of rounds. As we're in round number seven, two more rounds left. This is a this is a great matchup, though. And we got the best seat in the house. Nothing better than this, Ryan. I, you know, I hate to see it happen to the hometown guy, but courteous Curtis Melender coming in, putting on a show tonight. Still two rounds left, though, and anything can happen. Well, and the story on Curtis Melander was that he, he's not a boxer, right? But, but to me, he, he's looking pretty good as a boxer. Yeah, Ryan Ford definitely has a step up in the competition in the, the worldly recognition across different countries as well. Huge following. Always able to maintain. He's got great cardio. Doesn't look like he's slowed down at all. No, and Ryan Ford's one of the hardest workers I've ever met in, in boxing, and also one of the nicest guys I've ever met in the sport of boxing. So he's getting pinned up here, hands down. He doesn't have any space to swing. I think he needs to command and control of his own space yeah, there. And, and sit down on a couple of these punches to, to back up Melinda. Step back, plant, let Blender walk into him and just let him have it. And, and this is great inside fighting by both fighters, holding their ground, not backing up. Neither fighter is willing to, to move back. It's just that overhand, it's not working for him. He needs to come to the inside, right? Maybe set up that inside uppercut, like a shovel hook, kind of work the body a little bit more. Exactly, or I'd like to see him throw that overhand, but then follow up, like you said, with something else, yeah. maybe the liver shot. Maybe the uppercut. He was catching him on that roll and the follow up with the shovel hook to the head. You know, that, that'd that be a good combo for him. Blender working the inside here. I'm not sure. As four hits Ooh, the canvas. We got a knockdown here in round seven. Blender catching him with the left hook, I believe. And we'll see what happens here after that knockdown. Ford a little bit of trouble as Blender's continuously landing some solid shots here. And this is a tough, grueling fight. You can tell both fighters are grinding and out and willing to leave it all on the line. He does not want to be here. This is not a game he wants to play with Blender. He's just burning energy at this point. Blender tall enough so he's not in any trouble with those, those overhands. As Ryan Ford hopping to try to catch Melinda as he evades once more. Let's take a look at this replay though on the knockdown. Like just a man, just, just some solid shots here. Great Three uppercut hits. by Melinda. That's what I want to see Ford doing, but Melinda pulls it off first. Beautiful uppercut. Almost like a shovel hook that just deli perfectly delivered right up the middle. Yeah, it was one of those tweeners, and, and he kind of measured him with that touch a little bit and then and found that good Ford right was bent. Ford was bent right over. Nice yep. clean delivery, pivot, and full extension through. 
Ford hits the canvas, makes it through though, doesn't get the 10 count, so lives to fight another day here. So we head into the eighth and final round. Now, if you're Melinda, do you go into like, a, you know, you're trying not to lose type mode, where you're just gonna play it safe on this one? And for Ryan Ford, you come out like a madman, trying to get the victory. I think Melinda's just gonna keep doing it. He's having a good time in there. Like, he's not, he's not been put in any serious danger, right? He's look, look, even here, like he's able to create that space and he's, he's tall enough, he's able to work his shoulder roll enough where these overhands aren't an issue, point in case. Look at, they're just rolling off his head, yeah, and you rolling see off his shoulder. He's quite comfortable on the inside. You don't often see that a lot with the, the taller, longer guys, right? But instead of backing up, he's, he's continuing to smother forward. And Ryan Ford's gotta pull up something big here. You got to put a couple punches together and, and he's still dangerous still a threat this is a really tough scenario for him he's got to yeah, push a different game here Leonard's just just implemented such a great uh, a great game plan coming into this fight and he's been consistent the entire fight he really has been finding his punches look at this just beautiful delivery on the uppercut up the center and it's a dangerous thing when you allow a fighter to fight his fight and to fight how he wants to and where he's comfortable at. He's very relaxed. Ford's closing the distance, but he's not doing anything once he gets there. And then Melinda's just pushing him back and then setting up his punches. And now Melinda talking a little bit. Great shots from both guys, though. And Melinda can't get complacent here. He's got to stay, you know, with his good footwork and keep moving. A little bit of... Oh, and a there was a blow. little bit of a bl low blow shot there. And, and the ref allowing Melinda to, to use that forearm to keep pushing Ford off to get his distance back. Again, you there's see it again and again. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm not sure how they're getting away with it, but. And Melinda talking to Ford's corner there, smiling. Pushing, pushing him around. He's just playing with him at this point here. And I'd like to see Ford go for broke here and he, just let, let it fly, let yeah, it loose, make something happen for his hometown fans. He absolutely needs to at this point. And it's easier said than done, obviously. Just too many variables here working in Melender's favor. Just the, the height advantage, the reach advantage. Him able to use his body weight, pushing like the infighting, the dirty boxing, like he is just fighting a, a clean, Dirt, clean, dirty fight, and he's, as he's swinging for the fences here, trying to get that KO, he's got to be careful. Like you said, Ford is still out as a 10-second clapper, raising the eighth and final round. And we'll see who's going to close the show here and make, and make something happen here at the final second. Wow, what a fight, though. What, what a matchup between different styles. That was a tough fight. Here, let's take a look at this low blow here. Got a replay popping up. Oh. Yeah, that was certainly <laughs> low. No doubt about that one. Ooh. Put some heat on that. Didn't seem to bother him too much, though. Yeah. Thanks to the guys at Production World helping us out here. Great replays, great coverage. What a great event. What an awesome fight, you know, very entertaining. Uh, you know, both fighters did very well. I think, you know, I, just Melender just implemented his plan a lot better. Yeah, he was just landing just a bit more and, and allowed to fight the fight that he wanted to fight. He looked kind of comfortable the, the whole fight, but hats off to both these competitors for putting on a great show here in Edmonton. Yeah, definitely here. Th thanks to the River Cree Resort Casino in Enoch to allow us to keep doing these. Like, what a production. Like, uh, the quality's gone up significantly. Ryan Ford still head held high. Right. And you have to give a lot of respect to anyone who steps in the ring. Like these fighters literally put their lives on the line to give us fight fans some entertainment to watch on a Friday night, you know? No doubt. I mean, uh, this is not an easy sport. Like no. Boxing, you know, 
the more and more I watch, the more and more I fall in love with it. And uh, just watching the technical aptitude of these guys and implementing their strategies, and especially eliminating all the tools of just your fist, right? And as you see the range, it's just amazing what you can accomplish. You know, it's not just your fist, right? It's, it's your, your clinch work, your dirty box, your thrust, right? How you're maneuvering your body, the pivots, the angles, like springing off your feet, and you know, it's just, uh, oh, it's just, it's so amazing to watch these guys. Definitely the sweet science of this. And both fighters here tonight did an excellent job. And there's a lot more to it, because all you have in boxing is your fist, right? That's all you have, so it can get very complicated, very technical. That was a great fight, though. Yeah, let's, let's see what the score is. Let's pass it up to the big man, Don Andrews. Fight fans, after eight rounds, we have a decision. Judge David Bilicirkowicz scores this fight 78-73. Judge Chris Souster scores the fight 77-74. And Judge Andy Social sees this fight 78-73 for your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, courteous Curtis Millender. Hometown, um, yeah, the, judging the slip, the slip vote. But wow. I, I'm not taking that away from Melender. He did everything he needed to win that fight. Implemented an excellent game plan. You know, uh, I do wish he was a little bit more courteous. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he wasn't too courteous. <laughs> Depending on how you look at that, maybe he was, right? But he got inside his head, right? So I would really like to see Curtis Melender step inside the, the boxing ring a little more based off of this performance. All right, well, you know, let's hear what he has to say. Let's throw it up there to Don Andrews for the post-fight interview. All right, fight fans, I'm here with your winner, Curtis Millender. You come into your opponent's hometown. He's got a lot of experience. What was the game plan? Um, you know, just be the more superior human being. I'm taller, longer, faster, just a, a better man, clearly. I told him he sucked, and I made him look like he sucked. There's a new combat king at Edmonton. Thank you. Real quick, you want to send some thanks, though? What was that? You want to thank some people while we're here? Oh, man, of course, um, my coach, Ben Jones, ride or die. If I'm, if I'm somewhere, he's right beside me. Um, my family and friends back home, all my sponsors, Dime Industry, Cal Attorneys, Tequila Mandala, uh, Chaco Socha. Um, everybody, I love everybody. Great work, fans. Big round of applause for Curtis Millender. Fight fans, fans, make sure you check us out online for our next unified boxing event. Make sure you check on all the social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We look forward to seeing you at our next event. Wow. What a, what a way to finish a night of fights. Ryan Ford, Curtis Melinder.